Bam, this is the rat. Bam, this is Hell Creamer. That's right, guys, it's a Halloween episode. Uh, it's very special. First time we've done that. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so, yeah, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Um, checked it out. Uh, so what do you think about it, Thrand? Uh, I actually really love the idea. I heard the book was excellent. I never got to read the book, but the movie was well done. Uh, I don't know, what what were you saying about it? Uh, you know, watching the film, I think it had a really nice Merchant Ivory kind of look during dialogue oh, and during some of the drama scenes. But the the fight scenes were a little clunky, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it's kind of like they went a lot of slow-mo type stuff. Yeah. Uh, they, they skipped around a lot. I mean, it seemed seemed like it was so fast and so surrealistic that you couldn't almost get into some parts of it. Well, you know, when, when I, when I it saw it, cool, though. I don't think the meaning. fight scene ever went completely through to completion. I don't think we ever got to see it the way you would see it, like, on, I don't know, like maybe like The Transporter or, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. or any of these other yeah, uh, yeah. action films, you know. I totally um, got you. I think they broke with convention. I think they tried to be creative, but I think sometimes you can't, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. But you know, I think their that that Merchant Ivory look during the drama scenes was was really uh, oh, yeah. visually pleasing. You know, oh yeah, the clothing, the garb, the uh, everything, the scenery, the background. Um, I thought I thought it was well done. That was all well done, definitely. Yeah, I mean, that's really the only thing I take issue with. I, does it have staying power, in my opinion? Nah, not really. You know, I, I would definitely recommend to see it. I, I I enjoyed the whole idea of Abraham Lincoln killing vampires. And there's yeah. a new twist on vampires, you know, they're killed, they're injured by silver, killed by silver. You know, now we're talking about uh, killing vampires, I think that's what we're all about is, you know, smashing shit and, and killing things, so. Definitely, that's why this is a, also a, a weapon test, not just a, a we've got an axe here that looks a lot like the one out of the movie, and it's an actual real wood chopping axe, and uh, I know that he had a gun barrel <laughs> in one of his models there. Somehow it ended up in it in the episode. This is extremely heavy. This is a 50 caliber uh, cap, ball and cap or cap and ball uh, rifle. Right. And if you took a barrel of their construction from and that put time it period. Here, oh, I don't yeah. Know, with the mechanism you'd have to put in it, I don't think I could. I, I know I know I couldn't. But I'm you know, Abe, strong, but I couldn't wield that thing like he did. Yeah, you know, but Abe, no Abe had supernatural power, you know. Definitely the scene where he chops the whole tree down with one blow from the anger and raise that. Now that's a berserker. Yeah. If he could do that, then yes, I'm sure he could wield this. Yeah, but Even I mean, maybe I think he's probably it. always in a berserker rage or something, you know. More than human. Yeah. Yeah, more human than human, huh? Definitely, definitely. Yeah. So, if we put Thrand and Elgamir in a room, we were told that we were going to be vampire hunters, and we had to pick our our yeah. gear. If you were asked what your weapons would be, what would you do, Thrand? Let's see, I think you need something that would blend in at the time that you carry around with you and not gain suspicion. Otherwise, a vampire pretty much knows you're hunting him and you're carrying something that's not even in the norm. So, uh, heck, I would probably, I like the axe idea, but I'd grab something more like a, a Viking axe. It's lightweight, fast, that's what I practice with to try to get the moves down I saw in the movie so we could kind of replicate that mm -hmm. and see what we thought about it. Uh, but anything from that time period, like like a sword cane, would be nice too. I mean, he had a you know if he had a blade and a cane, that would be nice backup when you're walking around. But uh, the axe is definitely a good idea. Um, well, how about something like a Bowie knife? Oh, definitely something like this is like a Bowie knife. Uh, this is a sax, but very similar to construction design. They had some that were large. I mean, they were, they had some as large as this uh, machete, pretty much, and heavy. And the machete back then for bushwhacking, going through the the wilderness would also probably not gain any suspicion. And if you had the silver edge, oh yeah, any of this stuff, yeah, would any of this stuff would be great. Man, I, that's but Henry, yeah. Henry, yeah, yeah, old Henry, all he used was a little old knife. I think I've got one on me here. Yeah, that was all silver. Uh, yeah, these these will serve you pretty well. You know, it's something you can conceal on yourself, and things like that. But you know, I mean, if if you put me in a room. You know, I think that, you know, I, I would take the, the gun. Now, I know these are cap bullet. and ball, you know, and you got to use a silver bullet out of it. But, you know, if you get your distance from a 50 cal box. like this, you know, you could really get a, a good range on your target and, you know, get and a chance to cap up. him. I got you. Now, since I look like an Indian, you know, I'd... Carry me a tomahawk in one of these, and a lot of uh, a lot of your outdoorsmen, your uh, explorers, your yeah, your front tomahawk. Yeah, they all carry stuff like this. I think I think it's good range weapon too because it can be thrown. 
Sure, but you know we understand what what Abe Lincoln, Vampire Hunter, was yeah, trying to do. You know they wanted to give him that 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 aesthetic Definitely. of the steampunk sort of look. So Got yeah, an arrow type thing. Yeah. yeah, sure. So I can dig that. I'm not saying it's bad, but if you put us in a room, I think we'd probably pick something a lot something different. different yes. Yeah, something faster because I think something is ten times stronger than than me and can move two or three times as fast and turn invisible. Would not be something I'd want to try to so, win something yeah. like this. But we're going to see what we can do with this thing. Yeah. And uh, what do you say we go outside and uh, play Vampire Hunter? Hell yeah! Oh. God, I took the whole face off. Oh, dude, that's fucking nasty. Dude, you went straight through the face, dude, through the oh, skull and everything. Yeah, Lord. Dude, look at. Yeah. Oh, look. oh! 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 Oh!